it's smack the guru this is the review and recap for power book three season one episode six level up now this was a great episode to me i felt like they paced this one perfect like the pacing on this episode was the best that i've seen yet from power book three it started off with of course the specter trying to get something from raquel and i basically knew he was dead like off the muscle. As soon as I seen him, I'm like, yeah, he did. I thought she was going to just knock him off right away, regardless of the fact. Just hit him um, wherever they meeting was at. But she actually tried to play it straight up. She came with some money like her, you know, um, you know, I pay y'all for whatever. This fool tried to violate her, you know, and he probably would have been successful if it wasn't for that hammer and them doing that construction. But. You know, the hammer was there, and she smacked him across the head. I'm like, cool. You know, because uh, if he, if they would have showed him violating, I would have been like, dang, it's just it's messed up. And then Marvin come. Now, Marvin put him in the wall. I'm like, uh, okay. Put him in the wall. I mean, eventually, he going to have to come up out of that wall, though. Eventually. You know, because I don't know how long the body going to be there without people smelling it and, you know maggots and stuff like that i don't know i don't know if the because it was like some little foam around the the uh jawa i don't know if that protect the smell or something i don't know but that didn't uh that wasn't the best idea to me i don't know if y'all know something better or something different then put it in the comments because i was like dang he's just gonna put him in the wall now why he was putting him in the wall he was saying his grievances because Marvin do got grievances and he want more you see he hungry and in the preview I touched on the preview um or I, I made a preview video so go check that out if you haven't but in the, the next episode you see him you know trying to get gain more power and he keeping secrets from Raquel again it's like come on dog more secrets like, come on, dog. Like, the, the, the organization gonna fall if they not communicating with each other properly. Just like any organization. For real, for real. But, after Marvin did that, right? It go to Howard. And Howard show his true colors. This fool show up to, to finally tell Raquel, like, yeah, I know I'm the father, right? He really just wants some bone marrow from Canaan. And... He could have been showed up. That's why I say he's showing his true colors. Because he literally showing up and saying, yo, Kanan, my son, now because he about to die and he need a bone marrow transfer. He could have been showed up and did that. But he didn't. He never did. And for Kanan... For him to be thinking he going to get a relationship with Kanan. And Kanan going to sign off on a bone marrow transfer. Come on, dog. Stop it. Stop it. I wish a, a dude, a man, even father or not, you show up 15, 16, 17, all these years later and then think you, we about to get a bone marrow transfer going? Bruh, I'm going to spend as much time with you before you go, but you're going. Ain't no way. I wouldn't do that for... For nobody that wasn't there in my life and then just pop back up showing up talking about a hey, you know no not at all but i would definitely show this true colors now on to lulu right lulu got vision he giving me them ghost vibes he trying to you know make some legal money raquel don't see it though it's always people that see it and then people that don't Raquel don't see the vision, and Lulu got a vision, and I like it, you know, because he thinking like, yo, this ain't gonna last forever, we gotta, you know, start the diversifying our portfolio, like, dog, we can't just be hustlers, that ain't gonna work, you know, and then he got aspirations for, you know, being a producer and making music and you know, so he going after that. I like that. Um, Lulu seemed like he got his head in the right place. And 
he almost got knocked off this episode, right? But that boy Scrap is loyal. Scrap is loyal. You know, and Raquel know that. I knew she sent them in as a double agent. We all can see that from just watching it. But when it push came to shove, he gave Lulu the heads up. Like, yo, nah. And he had to know once he did that, it was going to be a problem. And the dude that he was with, like, dog, I ain't stupid. Like, what's wrong with you? You know? Which I like how Scrap played it. But he could have played it better, right? When they was going in, this is how I thought he was going to do, watching it. When they was about to go in the front, he said, nah, it's too many. We got to go around back. I thought he was going to knock Buddy off when they went around back. That's what he should have did. Like, yo, and then let Lulu and them know, like, yo, this dude was coming. I had to do this. I can't go back to unique. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it was really... You know, life, I had to knock him off. That's what I thought he was going to do. But they break the window, climb through it, and he wait to the very end. And he go, you know, tap his nose, give uh, Lulu the heads up. And boy, did he take a beating for it. You know, at first I thought he was dead. I had to watch it back a couple times. Like, he breathing a little bit. <laughs> Like, yo, just a little bit. Like, he breathing? It looked like he breathing. So, he not dead. Um, uh, so, but he took a beat. And this gonna, this should let Kanan know, yo, it ain't him that snitched. It ain't him that did nothing. He should know, oh, he loyal now. You know? So, how did they find out that information? It's Davina. And Kanan go to Davina house. They get it in. She got condoms in the drawer. I'm like, condoms? This girl just keep condoms? But well, she might be a little ratchet anyway. Like, ugh. come on, dog. Like, I don't know. And then, you know, this back in the... She got kind condoms in this back back in the day. Like, dang. I ain't no chicks just be keeping condoms like that in, the, in case something happened. <laughs> but... Hey, you know, it is what it is, man. That That's who he he falling for right now. But he going to have to get out of that and understand she snitched. And he going to have to handle that. But um, at the end, it was dope. They showing everybody getting together. You got Lulu and Jessica, um, Nicole and Juke, and then uh, Davina and uh, Kanan. You know, they showed all them. Now... The performance that happened in the club. First off, first off, who was that little Tevin Campbell? <laughs> who was that little Tevin Campbell dude they had performing before them? I'm like, yo, <laughs> what they own right now? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm like, that was just funny to me. I'm like, dude, stop. But um, you see... Uh, jukebox she was kind of choking before the performance you know but famous got up on stage and famous definitely shot a shot at uh nicole too you know but he got up on stage and boom that's when it hit him because you know this they first time performing they gonna be nervous it just hit them both at different points you know and then jukebox held it down on stage you know if she wouldn't have got into her little spiel Famous might have choked up there. And, of course, he rapping about uh, Kane and life. You know, and <laughs> it's funny because 50 Cent a rapper, and he, he basically threw a shot at all the other raps like, man, these dudes just rapping what they seen. You know what I'm saying? So, um, that's what Famous was doing with uh, him. And Jukebox... She she got to be careful too talking to that that cop Burke because she a cop and they get information and then they use it against her. You know what I mean? Like she didn't figure out about her and the code, so I'm sure she gonna try to use that information. You know to uh, I don't know do something with Marvin or 
somebody, you know, or hold it over jukebox head or something. So you got to be careful giving information to a cop, like talking to them in any form. You know, they're not your friend, you know. And Bert out there by herself because Howard going through stuff. So something might happen to Bert if they don't get her no partner because she literally just out there by herself. And she went and looked at jukebox this time, but she could be going trying to holler at unique next time or somebody and something happened to her so she definitely need a partner it, it should just be two people out there at all times anyway what's crazy is these days boy when the cops show up even when they just pull you over it'd be three cars behind you three cop cars you like dang you know like eh, what did i do like <laughs> you know so but uh it's just crazy how times change you know but another thing with a jukebox, her girl, Nicole, she going down a dangerous path, right? Because I don't think she ever smoked before. And she's sitting up, this fool crown smoking Primo's. And he, hey, hit this. She just hit it. I'm like, yo, do she not know what she hitting? That ain't just weed. Like... And usually, like, people always told me, run up, like, man, if you ain't see somebody roll it, don't smoke it, you know. She was there, though. She watched him roll that up, and then she still hit it. And you see Jessica, like, nah, I'm good. But Jessica should have been like, nah, don't hit that girl. Because, you know, you could see the, the girl, Nicole, she young, she easily influenced. If Jessica would have just been like, nah, don't hit that, she probably wouldn't even hit it, you know. But Jessica said, go ahead if you want to hit it. And then uh, Bang, uh, Crown was like, hit this. So she just straight hit it. I'm like, dang. And then on the previews for the next episode, seemed like she wilding out now, you know. So she going down a scary path. I can see her dying this season. You know, and then I guess that's when Jukebox will turn evil and we can see Jukebox start progressing down her path. Now, I touched on Raquel a little bit with her almost getting violated, but she she just really had a bad episode all around this episode. Then she, like, you think about it, she almost got violated, you know, got beat up a little bit during the process, right? Because before she got that hammer, Buddy had hit her in the stomach, messed up her face a little bit, right? Then she lose her connect, which I knew that was coming in my past review. I said, yo, do she think this dude Dean just stupid? And then as soon as she show up, I notice it's a different dude at the door. I'm like, yo, he know, you know. And she she noticed that too. She like, where's such and such? Come on, girl. Like, <sighs> Dean ain't retarded. He figured it out. And um, now he didn't cut her off. She need to find another way to get back in. You know, and I get a sense that she don't want to make Dean her enemy. You know, and he got his whole setup perfect. You know, with the bingo thing. It just, you know, can't nobody say he doing nothing. He like, yo, I'm here playing bingo with my grandmother. You know, and he just hit a little hearing aid. Boop click it back on so his setup perfect but that happened to Raquel then she also breaks up with Symphony and Symphony I don't like that she broke up with him but he was in a rock in a hard space really because he won a relationship with her son right so her son say yo can you keep your sick he's like all right but now Raquel punished him for it, you know. And you can see it was an emotional moment. It's like both of them didn't really want to let go. But the pride and the ego, they like, uh, I ain't about to just be out here fighting crazy, you know, for something if somebody don't want me. So you see Symphony, he walk away. And both of them almost look like they about to cry for real watching it. But... All them things happened to Raquel this this episode. So she she had a very bad episode. And then, of course, at the end, then she finds Scrap. So she just had a horrible episode altogether. And then um, 
you know, I'm just looking forward to what's going to come from that. Because hopefully Scrap is alive. He looked like he was alive. Um, Raquel probably, well, we know they're going to retaliate because of the previews on the next episode. But she probably going to put Scrap in a, a better position um, than he was just in because of how much loyalty he showed. And she knew he was loyal, but he should get get moved up for show for show. You know, but I'm looking forward to the next episode. They took a week off. Hopefully they don't take no more breaks, you know, and just take it all the way through, you know, because the episodes are good. They're getting better and better. I know they talked about uh, Power Book 2 being finished. You know, I can't wait till we get forced. You know, I hope we still get influence. I don't know. They don't talk about that one much. So, I don't know if they scrapped it or not. But, man, this is a dope universe. I like what they doing. It's Mac the Guru. Uh, this one went a little longer than, than, than normal. But, as always, man, y'all be easy. Be safe. Remember, if you're still here, click that subscribe button. Like the video. Y'all be easy. Peace.